man from Weymouth died less than two months later. Only on five, I spoke with one doctor who performed that procedure about what happened and where this procedure goes from here. The kidney was functioning up until the time of his passing means that this mission really did succeed. Mass General Dr. Winfred Williams hailing the first ever modified pig kidney transplant a success and his patient a hero. 62 year old Rick Slayman lived dialysis free for 52 days after the historic transplant. We learned a lot about the physiology of this pig kidney as it performed in a, a human recipient. Mr. Slamman quickly became a beacon of hope for so many kidney patients. What legacy does he leave behind? His sacrifice will not uh, be one in vain, that this work will continue, uh, that we want to do all we can to bring uh, this um, uh, unique form of kidney transplantation to the clinic to benefit others who would follow him. 800,000 people in the U.S. alone are living with kidney failure. Only 25% of them get the chance to even make it on the transplant list. If you could take a kidney off the shelf, you'd go a long way in terms of mitigating uh, that imbalance. Arduous work is ahead alongside the FDA to begin clinical trials and offer this type of transplant to patients. In the meantime, Mr. Slayman's team is honoring his contributions by creating the MGH Richard Slayman Xenotransplant Symposium taking place this fall. Nationally and international experts to come and uh, meet and convene and move this research forward. And Mass General says there is no indication that Mr. Sleeman's death was a result of the transplant.